I welcome all of you on platform of Europedia education and my this video is related to the uh, you know subjective paper of food technology which uh, you are going to write in examiner of patent and design. Food technology means there are 20 seats and uh, very less students with food technology background are you know there to go for this kind of job because there are 20 seats so obviously uh, 20 times of that you understand like uh, 400 students are going to write mains and out of that uh, you see 5 times um, like 100 students are going to go in the interview you should be among top 500 students in food technology Europedia has provided wonderful module for you to practice your writing uh, you know for food technology topics we will be giving you more than 50 very good topics and you should practice with Europedia and you should uh, enhance your writing skills because on the basis of your writing skills uh, I strongly believe up 40-50 number ka difference dal sakte hai compared to your competitor so don't miss it so unlimited writing practice sessions are being provided to you by the mentors of Europedia अच्छे तरीके से प्रैक्टिस करो सो दैट आपको एज मिले मेंस के अंदर फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट और आपको 50 100 टॉपिक्स देंगे वी विल प्रोवाइड यू दोस टॉपिक्स जिससे आपका तैयारी भी हो जाएगी दो इट इज नॉट प्रिपरेशन मॉड्यूल इट इज नॉट कि हम आपको तैयार कर रहे हैं बट मैं आपको एक्सप्लेन करूंगा हाउ इट इज टू बी गिवन इन दिस वीडियो आई एम ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ इट इज टू बी गिवन हाउ इट इज टू बी रिटन कैसे आपने लिखना है बेस्ट आंसर एंड हाउ यू कैन प्रिपेयर फॉर इट सो मेंस एज यू नो इज 300 मार्क्स एंड दैट इज अ सिग्निफिकेंट you know chunk of marks for mains or mains ke marks aapke add honge in true plus mains for final selection so 100 marks ka paper 1 hai and 300 marks paper 2 you can prepare for 100 marks non technical with your pedia and 300 ke liye writing skill plus 50 to 100 topics you can take from your pedia so don't miss this if you really want a job and i also tell you food technology ke students ke liye competition bahut nahi hai that means you are very close to this wonderful job isko miss mat karna कोई भी ऐसी चीज मिस मत करना जो आप ले सकते हैं एंड लेटर ऑन यू रिपेंट दैट ओके अगर शायद ये कर लिया होता तो मेरी जॉब लग जाती बिकॉज़ ए वंडरफुल जॉब है और फूड टेक्नोलॉजी वाले स्टूडेंट्स के लिए बहुत अच्छी अपॉर्चुनिटी है सो गो फॉर इट एंड यू कैन स्टार्ट प्रिपरेशन एंड दैट इज व्हाट आई वाज टेलिंग फूड टेक्नोलॉजी में देयर आर 15 सीट्स नॉट 20 आई थिंक 15 सीट्स आर देयर सो इफ यू वांट टू बी अमंग दीस 15 यू नीड टू बी रियली गुड इन योर मेंस एंड उसके लिए प्रैक्टिस आपको करना इज समथिंग व्हिच इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट Practice will make you perfect uh, in writing if you go for and uh, as per me 50 number ka difference dala ja sakta hai 50 marks you can create a difference of up to 50 marks in mains uh, only because of writing skill not because of knowledge I am saying only because of writing skills the way you write underline karte ho heading likhte ho sub heading likhte ho only on the basis of that you can create a difference so somebody should tell you okay this is the way you have to write that somebody is the mentor of your pedia he will tell you for that. Uh, you must have seen in the exam in the college also like there are some different kind of students some write very beautifully some underline some do not underline some people make diagrams so depending upon how you have written same content marks provided by professors are different and we want you to hone the skill jahan pe aap acha likhe aur aapka acha score bane elements of good writing i have already discussed that in my earlier videos एलिमेंट्स ऑफ गुड राइटिंग आर आपको लेजिबल हैंडराइटिंग होना चाहिए ब्यूटीफुल हैंडराइटिंग होना चाहिए आपको पैराग्राफिंग आना चाहिए पैराग्राफ्स प्रॉपर्ली बनाने आना चाहिए पॉइंट वाइज एक्सप्लेनेशन करना है स्कीमेटिक डायग्राम्स देनी है आपको एग्जांपल्स देने हैं फार्मूलाज एंड इक्वेशंस देनी है अंडरलाइन करना है आपको लेफ्ट राइट पेज बैलेंसिंग करना है वर्ड लिमिट्स को आपको फॉलो करवाना है आपको इक्वेशंस मेंशन करनी है इक्वेशन नंबर्स वगैरह हेडिंग सब हेडिंग देना है आपको बॉडी स्ट्रक्चर इंट्रोडक्शन टू कंक्लूजन आपको प्रोवाइड करना चाहिए टेबल चार्ट डायग्राम आपको देना चाहिए ऑल दीस थिंग्स शुड बी गिवन एंड माय टुडेस वीडियो इज रिलेटेड टू फूड टेक्नोलॉजी सो फूड टेक्नोलॉजी इज यू नो इंटरेस्टिंग सब्जेक्ट एंड एज आई टोल्ड यू द लीस्ट कंपटीशन कैन बी इन फूड टेक्नोलॉजी बिकॉज नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग सीरियसली फॉर दिस मे नॉट बी मच दैट नंबर मे नॉट बी मोर लेट मी डिस्कस विद यू द सिलेबस कन्वेंशनल जो आपका सब्जेक्टिव पेपर है उसका सिलेबस में फूड केमिस्ट्री एंड न्यूट्रिशन है इसमें से इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स क्या आएंगे दैट आई विल डिस्कस विद यू फूड माइक्रोबायोलॉजी दैट इज आल्सो सेकंड चैप्टर देन कम्स यू नो फूड प्रोडक्ट टेक्नोलॉजी दैट इज थर्ड चैप्टर 
and then comes your food engineering that is a fourth chapter now today uh, i will take my mentors have sent some of the questions they are from i think uh, your topic okay so uh, the questions are taken from food processing principles scanning chilling freezing dehydration let's see what kind of question can be framed so uh, from the same topic different questions can be framed and uska best answer kya ho sakta hai that also is discussed so this is a six mark question as you can expect in their actual uh, exam so food pre preservation techniques kya kya hain what are the various food preservation techniques and what are their significance for food industries and in household so explain various food process preservation techniques so as we know a uh, food preservation techniques there are four basic or primary food preservation techniques canning chilling freezing dehydration तो सबसे पहले तो आपको उनका नाम पता होना चाहिए दीज आर मैं बिलो देन यू टू गिव द हेडिंग अंडरलाइन करना है वट एवर आई एम राइटिंग विद द रेड दैट इज द अंडरलाइन वर्ड सो यू शुड नॉट राइट मोर यू शुड नॉट राइट लेस एंड इफ देर इज सम डेटा विच इज टू बी प्रोवाइडेड इफ सम डेटा इज रिक्वायर्ड यू शुड ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड दैट बिकॉज डेटा फैक्ट एंड इंफॉर्मेशन इक्वेशन डायग्राम्स दीज आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड सपोज देर आर फोर food preservation techniques then you should very clearly mention 1 2 3 4 dot nil gana don't put the dot just say 1 2 3 4 because there are four such particular preservation techniques so the moment you write 1 2 3 4 canning chilling uh, you know freezing dehydration bold ke sath you have written with the bold paper checker is going to see that and if you have marked something underline he is going to see that so canning is sealing food in air tight container okay why to kill bacteria and enzyme okay purpose is clear what is chilling chilling is refrigeration process to store food at very low temperature and freezing is below the freezing point what is typically minus 18 degree centigrade so maybe you can underline that also dehydration is to remove the moisture so underline it wherever you put 1 2 3 4 that way you can explain that is very good and then you know uh, you have to give the conclusion lines also so whenever a topic is given to you open it up with two three lines and then write points and then close it with two three lines that is how you are to basically close the topic and typically what should be the length of these uh, questions which you write the length should be like you know agar 6 number ka hai to aap maan ke chalo aapko uh, uh, 10 to 20 times the marks aapko utne words likhne hai double lines like 6 marks ka hai to 12 15 lines aapki honi chahiye uske andar aapko answer sum up karna chahiye unless until they have mentioned it so typically half page to one page you can do right and uh, in the exam you should not write extra things only to the point you have to write kitni techniques hai ye techniques what is the meaning of that and then conclusion line you have to give okay similar question now what are the various significances of food preservation techniques inka significance kya hai so what are the various food preservation techniques that we discussed now what is the significance of food preservation techniques so first should be introduction line significance you can write here heading also significance so yes they are significant and they are important for various reasons to uh, for food safety security and reduce the food wastage these are some of the significances that is a introduction line you understand so heading should be significance and then there are couple of significance so then you will write here are some key significances of food preservation techniques now 1 2 3 4 i need, need not to give because i don't know how many numbers are there 1 2 3 4 tabhi dena hai agar aap bolna chahte hain there are four preservation techniques 1 2 3 4 4 but if that number is not there you can give dot 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 you can write like that heading free bhi dena hai and underline free bhi karna hai so prolong shelf life that is one of the significance minimizing the food spoilage enhancing the food safety availability of seasonal food reducing the food wastage these are the headings and underline should be stored for longer period without spoilage inhibit the growth of microorganisms Uh, prevent the growth of harmful pathogens so this way you can underline the things and you can provide the significance now these are not the limited there are so many significances lekin you can write that in point wise whatever is the most important you can write that uh, in the beginning itself and then there are some more also economic benefits global food security diverse food choices nutritional retention convenience so we will provide you such 50 to 100 good topics which you can prepare with your pedia and you can check your writing style writing skills also so these are some another and then you know conclusion the conclusion line as i told you there has to be a conclusion line which 
you should conclude the topic and that justifies okay you have written very nicely so what are various significances of food preservations so heading i mean what are two three lines then one two three i mean point 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 dot wise what are the significances heading and then underline and then conclusion that way you are to basically uh, write it now third question related to this only food preservation explain the impact of food preservation techniques and techniques they have mentioned on the taste texture nutritious values and overall quality of different type of foods now that can also be a very good question it can also be uh, framed as a very good question so you need to understand that what kind of questions can be framed and accordingly you can prepare as i told you your pd is going to give you all these topics very meticulously written so now first should be introduction introduction couple of lines so the impact of food preservation techniques like canning chilling freezing on various aspect of food including this overall quality can be explained as below how shall it be explained canning ka kya impact also what is the impact of canning on taste texture nutritious value and quality that is a question is asked so what are the impact of various food preservation techniques like canning chilling you know freezing and all on taste texture nutritious value and quality canned food often have cooked or slightly different flavor compared to fresh food so because it involves a heat treatment which can alter the taste of some ingredient so you can write you know alter the taste of some ingredient so underline can also be done now i'm leaving it on you underlining jo aapne karna hai you can do that underlining depending upon what is the most important thing you are finding when we will give you the question and you will write the answer we will check that our mentors will check whether you have underlined it or not properly you have given proper dots or not your handwriting is legible or not and believe me uh, every question the way you write it content same the way you write it you can fetch one or two more marks and in 300 marks you can create a big difference there that is all about you have to learn similarly chilling ka kya impact hai taste texture nutritious value overall quality what is the impact of that you can basically check that you can take the document you can take the pdf of this document it will be available to you along with the you know this particular video you can take that then what is the impact of freezing on taste texture nutritious value and overall quality so what is the impact of freezing similarly what is the impact of dehydration on taste texture nutritious value and overall quality so these things can be understood these things can be seen and last may conclusion as i told you introduction has to be there conclusion has to be there introduction and conclusion points are to be there from there you get an idea how it is to be done now let's see what can the other question can be framed from this what factors should be considered when you are choosing the most appropriate technique for specific food product preservation so what can be the most important factors when you do that okay so uh, when choosing the most appropriate food preservation technique and as you know we are doing the topic of food preservation so when you are choosing the most appropriate food preservation technique what are the important factor you can focus on type of the food initial quality of the food desired shelf life texture and appearance and underlining you can do of each part flavor retention nutritious value ease of use storage space energy cost cost of equipment safety long term storage cultural considerations accessibility packaging regulation i understand that all the points you need not to give the most important points you can give just to provide you holistic idea of the topic i have given you all these points but you can give small less number of points here whatever are the most important you feel like you can give those points also at the end you are to give you know the answer in the conclusion form so conclusion should be there so whatever we understood now from this topic food preservation that was the topic i took for food uh, you know uh, technology topic i took it and i took couple of questions three four questions and i told you that conventional paper is somewhere you can score good and you can create a difference between other students and you in the conventional paper because that is where student get less marks and hence practicing writing answer is very important with the mentors of your pedia so if you are targeting this particular exam then i believe you should prepare parallelly now with pre and mains and writing practice should be done from the very first day 
so start doing that so that you are in position to score really good when the exam comes and those of you who are delaying the writing practice time may not be sufficient once pre is over time may not be sufficient for you to practice it so after every two three days one question writing practice will really help you and whatever mentors are guiding you please follow that understand where you lack and try to improve that looking forward to mentor you for this and